All right. Today we're going to uh, go ahead and remove the battery on this. It's a uh, it's an Amiga A501 uh, board here. Uh, they have a, a bad habit of uh, the batteries going bad in these things and leaking all over the place and putting corrosion all over the board. Uh, instead of putting just a regular battery back in it, we, we bought this kit for this, and it uh, it uh, gives you uh, a battery on top there. So let's get to it. All right, I got it turned over. Now we're just going to use the uh, solder sucker on it. That's the old Pace uh, MBPT 250. So let me see if I can get that on there for you. There we go. I need to put something on this board to hold it down for us. All right, we're going to go ahead and unsolder these. I just put another board on top of it to kind of hold it in place. So we get these unsoldered. This one didn't unsolder very well. I may have to reflow it. Yeah, I'm going to have to reflow that one. Let me get that taken care of first. Okay, I got him out. It wasn't too bad. Actually, it was out. I just had to break the solder bridge on it. And all I did was pull this right here uh, away from the board. Uh, well, I had a soldering on it, and it just came right off. So now we got to do is clean everything up, and uh, we'll start on this side. You can see it uh, looks like somebody tried to solder on this board already over here. Uh, it wasn't me, but doesn't matter. We'll get it cleaned up. And just hit it with a short acid brush and some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we use uh, IPA 100% at work, but you know, 70, 91% you just buy off the shelf. Uh, usually perks, works pretty good too. And a little bit of uh, Kim wipes or Tech Light wipes right here. We use these things all the time. The box was ripped open because it was down to the bottom and they don't like to come out, so <laughs> I always just rip it open and start grabbing them from inside. So we got this side done. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, reflow this one solder connector right here. Let me see if I can't focus on it for you all. Yeah, I'm going to reflow that one real quick. Let's put a little bit of flux on it and flow it up. All right, drop just a little bit of flux on it there. See if it'll come out. There it goes. Whoa, too much. I'll use a little bit of Kim Wipey there to kind of dab that up a little bit. That should be good enough, and then uh, I'll go ahead and reflow it. Let's see. Get that soldering iron on there. there you go. That should work. Focus. There we go. Alright, let's get the let's go ahead and get the board turned over. And we'll start working on the well, let me clean it up and then I'll turn it over and work on it. Okay, anytime I work on a board, I always give a good inspection uh, around the board. Let me try to focus there. Um, you can see that there's uh there's a little bit of surface corrosion up on here that's uh, uh, which is left over from the battery on the other side. I guess it leaked to the bottom. I already cleaned this off, but there was a whole bunch of, of flux around here from when uh, the, I guess the board was removed by the owner. But no big deal. Uh, we got it all cleaned up with some alcohol, and I'll go ahead and clean this up, and then we're going to turn that board over and uh, get it uh, get it all cleaned up and start working on that battery area. So. I'll scrub this down, wipe it off, and turn the board over. All right, I got the board turned over. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all this cleaned up. I'm just going to put some alcohol on it and use my uh, my blade and just gently uh, push sideways and uh, get all this corrosion off. I think it's kind of neat. We have a kind of a turquoise uh, uh, green here. We have an aquamarine uh, kind of a sky blue out here. It goes to show the... Uh, the different uh, levels of the acid through the eating of the copper it's pretty cool I might even take this uh, tantalum capacitor out of here uh, just to make it easier to to clean the corrosion up around here 
All right, I'm up under the microscope now. I'm gonna put some uh, alcohol on here. It just more acts like a lubricant. And then I'm gonna use my uh, my round blade here. And I'm just gonna kind of shovel it off to the side. Kind of scrape it off like this. So just kind of chip it and work your way around it. Uh, when you get corrosion this, this bad, you either, there's a couple ways to remove it. You can do it chemically which I don't have a lot of chemicals lying around here for that kind of stuff, so uh, I'm gonna do the other way, which is uh, mechanically. That's where you actually scrape and remove stuff. And uh, so anyways, this is pretty much how you do it. Try not to dig too deep. You don't know how thin this is after the acid's already been there and ate it up. So just, I'm at a very, very shallow angle on this. So it's almost parallel. It's just enough to get a, a, a little bit of blade on that corrosion and push it off, scrape it off, or whatever you want to call it. So again, I'm going to try to stay away from this eyelet over here. I'm going to try to come in from the side. Don't forget this one too. You got to be careful here. And this stuff is really thick right here. So I'm going to push in. There it goes. And I was going to say, what I did is I just pushed in and I lifted up like that and I'll get up under here let me get around the other side right over here and then I'll get a I'll get an acid brush on here and some uh, some of those little tech wipes after I get this done and then we'll see what it looks like so let me do a little bit more of it I think you guys get the idea you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole process I've kind of rotated the board a little bit to follow along thought I'd show that to you guys I just kind of rotate the board and go around as as I need so I don't slip off over here and take some of the lettering off the board okay when you get into these thick areas like this I notice that you can push increase the angle a little bit to about like a 45 and then rock it back and forth while you gently push and I mean gently push and then uh, lift up a little bit now and then and then it'll start to chip off like that there we go. All right, let me get back to it. You'll notice as the uh, alcohol starts to dry out, I put more alcohol on it. And that does a couple of things. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it makes it easier to actually see where you're chipping to because as you move, it'll, it will uh, <coughs> uh, keep, keep the area clean, I guess you could say. And the other thing it does is it keeps the stuff from flying all over the board and then getting up under components elsewhere on the board. So, and then when you get up near the thing, I turn the, the chip over or the blade over so I don't like accidentally scrape all this off. So I'll go this way. All right, let me get back to it. Okay, let's uh, do a little assessment here and see how we're doing. Uh, let me get this out of here some alcohol on it and then I'm gonna use one of my little tech wipes Kim wipes or whatever you want to call them basically uh, it's a it's a technical tissue paper just for doing stuff like this and we'll see how how things are looking let me hit it with some alcohol again clean my acid brush off a little bit on a paper towel over here and let's see it looks like we got some more to go but uh, it's looking better. You can uh, obviously see right in here that it actually went all the way through, ate all the way through the through the board right here. Uh, so what we'll probably do is we'll probably build up a, a copper patch right here and lay it in there uh, just for that purpose to make sure that uh, it's still fairly robust right there where the battery uh, goes in. The object of this is to be as gentle on the board as possible but rough enough to get the corrosion off of it so, and we may use some uh, like 400 grit 600 grit sandpaper uh, wet dry sandpaper to get it here and polish this up and get the rest of it off and then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll probably lay a tin in here and then a conformal coating over it some epoxy or something like that so let me get this cleaned up a little bit more and uh, then I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, I dug a little bit more through here and uh, pushed this uh, tantalum over so I could get up underneath it. 
and the corrosion was actually growing up underneath the paint so I had to remove this section right here where the paint was and the conformal coating so the more and more I look at it it's just I'm gonna have to build this whole area back up and drop an eyelet in there I got the heavy stuff off so now I'm just doing the, the fine stuff and you can turn the blade this way too and scrub a little bit but I, I think we're down to the point you either need a uh, like a small abrasive eraser type wheel on a Dremel or some uh, like 600 400 grit sandpaper to kind of bust it up real good so let me uh, let me get that done and I'll show you how I take care of it